so this is how my day begins. It's Tuesday, June 13th, 2017, and it's only 9 48 in the morning, and I'm already tired. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. All right, so my day started out like the usual, uh, getting a bit Brandon and put my camera in the bag. I didn't realize that it was on, but kind of made for a cool transition. And I got upstairs and got my camera out and turned it off, but only to have to get right back in the car and turn around and get ready to go to a shoot that we have for Tip for Tip. It's a show that we record for Big Brandon. Put my coffee on, truck, tripod in the truck, and now we are rolling. Now get to the park in speedy time. It was right around the corner. Okay, so you're probably wondering exactly why the vlog has been like completely like obscure and not really like the normal, because that's the way I want it. I don't want it to be something that is completely overdone and completely vlog-ish. I wanted to be a vlog, I wanted to tell the story, but at the same time I wanted to have some type of cinematic feel to it. Uh, so I'm trying this out. All right, so the guy's running late and it's hot out here and i'm not gonna sit out here in the heat but i'm not gonna leave my stuff out here either so laugh if you want about what you're about to see man like i said you can laugh at me if you want but that umbrella helped out a lot and I got a chance to record some cool time-lapse stuff while I was out there. It actually was like featured on the uh, city's uh, story. Aaron came back to get me because the guy was more late because we gave him the wrong time. So we all hopped back in the car and we drove back to HQ and got back to the office and I was checking and uploading that story right there and walking extremely slow. God, God. I think it's time for me to buy some new shoes. And got up there and we turned around and got ready to get right back in the car. And Aaron, say hi. What's up people? How you doing? Then we finished the shoot up and I called my sister on FaceTime whenever I got ready to go home to pick up Chastity. If you know anything about life, you know that nothing ever really goes according to Never, nothing ever really goes according to the way that you wanted or thought it was going to go. And that has been the testament of today. Let me go get my wife so we can go look for a dress. I'm always trying to guide this one in the direction. Okay. <laughs> Meaning that she doesn't want to fall. She don't want to follow her husband. That's exactly what she <laughs> just said. Just she said. just said that. She just, I don't want, I don't need guidance. I was just kidding. Yeah, right. Me and Chastity always talk and it's always fun. So we always have really detailed conversations when we were walking through the mall. As you see, we made it to the mall. I had to do some work while we were there. I knocked that out. And then we went on our journey of finding a dress. Yeah, we sit there in this store and then I decided to dance around a little bit, dance around a little bit, and dance around a little bit more. I played around on the escalator with my camera multiple times. We finally actually got a dress and we made it back home. And I was ready to get back to the house to actually uh, get in and start on finishing up this uh, and finishing up some other work and snacking on some Tostitos chips and some ranch dip. So I popped out my laptop, sat on the couch, and do what I do always is work until the sun goes down and then uh, talk to my wife and we get ready to go to sleep.
that's the day in the life of Frank. And I hope that you guys enjoyed today's version of the vlog. See you guys next time.